From across time and space and throughout the multiverse, listen as two generations of comic book readers come together to discuss a single character or event that shaped pop culture as we know it. Let Your Geek Side Show presents Then and Now with Susan and Kitty. Hi, this is Susan. And this is Kitty. What does it mean to be human? A common question among philosophers and among, well, people who read comics. Made from the memories of Hank Pym and the remnants of Ultron, the Vision has spent his time since his first appearance in 1968 asking himself that question and trying to cultivate the answer. Join us from Sideshow HQ as we talk about whether or not the Vision succeeds in his humanity and how he helps us all find ours. This is the Vision, then and now. Is it the Vision or Vision? Because I, so okay. I hear it both ways. <laughs> I've heard it both ways. I have always called him the Vision. Right. Because of comics. <laughs> yeah. Well, because because that's how he was described yeah. by shout out to yeah. my girl Janet I know. Van Dyke I, saw, I was like you put in your notes shout out to J- Janet Van Dyke but yeah who named th- the Avengers she, she also named him she are, saw a vision yeah he, okay so question are you Janet Van Dyne because you be? are very good at naming things oh thank you yeah. anyway. I'd like to be but yeah the vision I mean that's just he's the vision so even when I do though enjoy in um, Infinity War when Scarlet Witch calls him Viz, that's always I, very cute. It's super cute when she's like, "Okay, oh, hey Viz, what's going on?" Like, "Hey Viz, you okay?" I'm like, "Oh, that's adorable." Yeah, but I think of that as like a pet name almost because he's the Vision, right? Right. And and that was cool how they named him in the the movies because mm-hmm. Thor had a Vision and uh-huh. he was the Vision. So your guy and your girl, my guy and my girl, they named the Vision. Awesome. Who's one of my guys? Yeah. Definitely. All right. So the vision to start him off, he's been in comics for a long time now. He w- first appeared in 1968 in an Avengers comic. Um, Ooh, with that iconic cover with oh, the, yeah. the big red. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's such a good one. I have that cover. <gasps> that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> um, I didn't know it was the first appearance of the vision when I bought it. I just mm. bought it because it was a really cool cover in a dollar bin. Oh, right. So some idiot comic book someone person. Someone messed up. Someone way messed up. Someone got fired. No, I don't know. I, I got it like in high school or something like oh, that. Like okay. it, no, it was in college. Cool. But yeah, no. So I own that. But he first appeared like in 1968. So we're talking about what? 50 years almost of history. Yeah. That's crazy. I had to do the math there. For I, a I know. Oops. I was like, I'm really bad at math. So yeah, can you tell me how Um. And he fell in love with Scarlet Witch. But the, I think one of the biggest questions that both we both have to address from then and now is what, like, what is his humanity? Yeah. I mean, because what, what is a vision? Yeah. What, what does it mean to be a vision? What does it mean to be human? What does it mean to be synthetic? Does your synthetic android body negate the human emotions? This is a bigger he, question. I know this is gonna, this one's going to get real philosophical. I know guys, it really is, and I apologize in advance for the deepness. That's a <laughs> thing, right? Um, but I think it's interesting that in his history, they have leaned very heavily into one side or the other, and at least in the then section, because um, to be honest, I did not read Tom King's solo series, and I know you've always shame. told I know you've always told me Boy, that I should, shame. and I will. I wrote a college paper on I that I know book. you did, and that's even worse for me. <laughs> but um, I own the first appearance of him, so... Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, but in his then, he either, they lean very heavily into his humanity, or they lean very heavily into his robotics. Because he was created by Ultron. He was created by Ultron. And that's, that's a, I mean, that, uh, even in the now, that is a stigma that affects who he views himself as and how other people contextualize him. Absolutely. So they're always a little bit iffy around him. Enter Scarlet Witch, who is also another one that people are very iffy about. And they kind of bonded over that, you know, oh. like... You know, she's in comics. The origin of her is that she's Magneto's daughter. In the movies, the origin of her is that she's created with Loki's staff. So there's always a little bit of iffiness around her as well. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think that that's the part that draws them together. Um, Yeah. So again, what is his humanity and what isn't? And... So I don't, oh man, now I'm like crushed that you haven't read the Vision series. No, so. I know, but this is where I learn about it, hon. So, yes, <laughs> that is true. So for, for those of you listening out there, uh, 
if you want to really, really just dive into what he's been up to now, I mean, he's always a he's a background feature or a supporting feature in a and, lot of Avengers stories. And he does a lot of teamwork. He's really good at teamwork. But and this may sound like a dramatic overstatement, but the quintessential comic book of the last, what, like three or four years was the series The Vision. Mm hmm. And that was by Tom King uh, with art by uh, Gabriel Hernandez Walta, colors by Jordi Belair, and covers by Mike Del Mundo. That's that's yeah. also how you know yeah. you know the series by the Mike Del Mundo covers. Right, um, but also the fact that they basically got some of the best in the biz on this creative oh, team. Oh yeah, this and this was and this was a story that they set out and they said this is going to be a 12 issue limited series. We're going to tell the whole story in 12 issues. And that's a rare format mm -hmm. for comics these yeah. days because most people you can say like, oh, like we're still puttering around until we hit issue like 31 and then finally give up the ghost. But like this is a this is a 12 issue story. Um, and just even from the meta textual side, the two volumes that it was split into are called Little Worse Than a Man and Little Better Than a Beast. And that's from The Merchant of Venice. Yeah. And those are describing the character of Shylock. That's other character. That's other character speaking of Shylock, who is a man who himself is struggling to be seen as human, right? Among because, all these other people, right? Because of who he is racially, and then that's and the and the societal context around right. that. And so, so that's really cool. I mean, pay attention to the book headings. So, yeah. So the first one is little worse than a man, a little better than a beast. And so th this whole series explores Vision's desire for normalcy and humanity, and the way that he does that. Because he because he cannot be with Wanda in these situations, mm -hmm. this these circumstances, does that define his whole humanity? So what he he goes to the next oh that's logical interesting. Thing. It's almost like does humanity is humanity defined by another? Yeah, rather than is like, his humanity defined by another? Is it rather than does his humanity come from himself? And so he is being denied uh, his his ability to be with Wanda, and so he does the next most normal sounding thing. Well, it's normal sounding is uh, Marvel Universe. Normal he sounding in comics. Builds a nuclear family unit. He builds a wife. So he so first of all, he goes kind of Dr. Frankenstein. He builds himself a wife. Mm -hmm. And then you don't find out till later in the series, a little bit of spoilers. Um her brain scans, because his brain scans are based on um Dr. Henry Pym and mm -hmm. Ultrons. Her brain scans come from Wanda. Mm -hmm. He he has her brain scans. And is able to code them. And then from his and her, uh, the wife's brain scans, he creates two twins. He creates. So his wife. Wait, I, so then I have a question about that. Yes. Um, does this particular series acknowledge Vision of the Past? Because, you know, he and Wanda did have yes. twins. There's a whole. There, so my notes here just say issue seven is amazing. Because also, if you read nothing else from this series, issue number seven gives you the whole story and it goes into his whole past with Wanda and that's okay, where you so find that out that the exist. wife yeah it's where you okay. find out that the wife was the the brain copy mm -hmm. of Wanda but yeah you get to see the like the white version of Vision and mm -hmm. like um when he's leaving mm -hmm. her and she's like but we have kids and, yeah. and so the kids that they had through magic yeah and so and then so through science he creates twins and so that's, his his wife is Virginia and then the kids are Viv and Viv, uh, Vivian and Vin isn't that interesting though to think about the fact that Originally, he had the kids through magic and Wanda's powers are based in magic. She's literally called Scarlet Witch. Mm -hmm. And then this time around, he has the kids based on science. Yeah. And they're literally done from brain scans that are like uploaded into synthetic children. Yeah. So, you know, I just, Ugh. I just, again, I'm bringing back your boy. Thor, <laughs> I always listen, like that quote from the first movie, this has nothing to do with vision. Um, I called him vision. Viz. Um, I come from a world where science and magic are one and the same. Mm -hmm. Vision is another character. Science and magic are one and the same in his backstory and in his current iterations. Yeah. Um, one of his huge appearances is the giant size Avengers from 1975 where he did marry Scarlet Witch. And mm -hmm. in 1982 through 1983, they had their own uh, series together called Vision, Vision and the Scarlet, Scarlet Witch. <laughs> <laughs> Super creative, you Super, guys. So... Clearly, Janet Van Dyne did not name that series. No, clearly, <laughs> clearly she did not because it was just like, oh, these are the characters in it. Yeah. Um, and in that they have like they fight together. It's a very family oriented family dynamic. They are very much in love. And it's very it's interesting to to read that series now um, because I like again, I haven't read this one, but 
it, it begs the question, like, if you are human or mutant or what a humanoid, like, what could you fall in love with with someone who's not human? Yeah. And then, I mean, Star Trek teaches us yes. <laughs> and, and then, you know, I read this series as a child and that taught me yes, too. Mm-hmm. So what does what does it mean to be human? Yeah. Back to that question. It, it's <laughs> yeah, and this this is because are his kids human? Is his wife human? They're I mean, synthesoid. Yeah, so they're synthesoid, and you get the feeling increasingly that it's like you're like yes, they're all a family of robots, but in the but traditional, but in the traditional context of science fiction and, and cyborgs being created, Vision takes on the role of the human creator, right? In the context that he made his wife to be his robotic companion, mm-hmm. but it, oh, it's just. At at without going into the whole series, I mean, issue number seven is really beautiful because it starts with this opening sequence where we're oh, vision. Told me about this. Yeah, we're yeah, vision and Wanda this. are in bed, and first of all, I mean, you have to look at every level of the writing, the art, the colors, the everything. Um, Jordi Belair has got this beautiful. It's this pink palette uh, where you can tell you can tell that. It's a memory. The, it's a memory, but it's also, it matches Vision's red skin, Wanda's red clothes, but it's also very evocative of passion and the mm-hmm. warmth of of two bodies yeah. being together in a bed. And even in the artwork, the bed has a rounded uh, like headboard. Soft. Yeah, everything's soft. There's mm-hmm. pillows and their clothes are thrown everywhere. Vision tells Wanda a joke and she doesn't get it at first, but then she kind of busts up laughing at it. And it has to do with sentient toasters. Mm-hmm. It's the it's the talking toaster joke of like one toaster says to the other and the second one goes, ah, talking toaster. Mm-hmm. Um, and she thinks that's very funny. And then it goes through their history. Mm-hmm. And then at the end, you get to a scene where Vision's in bed with his wife. And the wife also has, you know, with the, the green and the mm-hmm. red. So she's mm-hmm. got the red skin. But Jordi Belair has switched the color palette to blue. And so their skin is the red but it's in the blue lighting there's like harsh light coming through their the the um, window um the headboard is square on their bed and there's no pillows and their clothes are folded neatly it's completely devoid of intimacy passion they're sitting in bed vision tells the same joke and his wife doesn't react and so even though those were wanda's brain scans he put into his wife mm-hmm. she doesn't have that sense of humor she doesn't ha- she doesn't have the aspect of humanity that was in their relationship with Wanda. And it's really freaky to like watch him bring out the same joke yeah. and hope for the same exact reaction. And that's when he realizes that he can do everything scientifically possible to recreate a perfect partner for him. And it's not going to work. Because it's Wanda. Because, yeah, because he needs Wanda. <sighs> it's just, oh, it's so good. It's I love so good. That being like, you know, I'm a big Scarlet Witch fan and therefore like, you know, adjacently or whatever i'm a big vision fan because mm-hmm. i love them together yes. i love them together so much because scarlet witch is constantly afraid of herself mm-hmm. and vision makes her not afraid and that's such a powerful dynamic and the vision's afraid of himself especially in this series mm-hmm. and so without her but without her who's who's there to to quench that yeah and so so i think it's cool that in the examination of well what does it mean to be human he thinks well okay maybe it's maybe it's having a family maybe mm-hmm. it, maybe that's normal maybe that's fine they move to a suburb in uh in arlington virginia i think it is and and the kids go to school but everybody knows they're different and and the neighborhood starts to be affected by the the vision family and yeah. it's just, and they all take the last name Vision, so it's like Viv Vision and Virginia so Vision. So is his name the Vision Vision? <laughs> it's like the Mario Bros. question. Is it yeah. Mario Mario? And yeah. Yeah, that that part's a little weird. But but then you also get this interesting view in um, later in the the tail half of the 12-issue series where um, Victor Mancha shows up. And Victor Mancha oh, is wow. another cyborg created by Ultron. And so technically he and Vision are brothers. Mm-hmm. But he, he is more humanoid than... Um, than the vision because mm-hmm. Victor Mancha looks like a normal dude until you rip his head off and you've got yeah. electrical wires mm-hmm. and stuff. And his head does get ripped off. Um, <laughs> let's let, let's make that clear. His head does get ripped. Well, off. Well, <laughs> because circumstances happen and Victor kills the vision's son, mm-hmm. Vinny or Vin, um, and so Vision kills his brother in in retribution. It's mm-hmm. just it's this weirdly Shakespearean. I mean, going back to the Merchant of Venice well, thing, just this beautiful exploration of like, well, why does he get to be more human passing than me and my family, and why he's my brother, but he's the he's the more it's inter- logical creation. It's so interesting that Merchant of Venice is evoked in this series because there's like 
so many references to Othello also in Vision, oh. like in his past as yeah, well, yeah. like the the notion of he is powerful, he's a member of the Avengers, he has all this like notoriety, but he's still synthetic, like he's still the more, mm-hmm. you know, like there's still, and then he, you know, he marries Desdemona, the most beautiful woman, and then there's Scarlet Witch, Scarlet Witch doesn't, there's no like plot like within Iago <laughs> to like cheat, but it's still very much like, there are just parallels between Vision and these various Shakespearean characters. He, he's a very tragic figure. He is a very tragic figure. And I don't think it's a mistake that these are all Shakespearean like drama tragedies that he has because he's trying so hard to make this life that he thinks that he sees all around him that that he should be a part of. And yet he yeah. isn't. Yeah. And so. I mean, this, the, okay, this is spoilers for the end of the series, but you have to read it to see how it plays out. Um, the last surviving member of his family is his daughter. And so a lot of the now beyond that comic series is now contextualized by he's a single father now. Mm-hmm. And whether, and that's kind of whether he wants it or not, because he kind of wanted the whole package, but the right. whole package fell apart. And so he's left with his daughter, who he does very much love. Um, and so she joins the champions team Mm -hmm. and he's on the Avengers team. And so you get to see them running in parallel strides, but you also get to see, it's cool to see the, the product of his brain scans and Wanda's brain scans in their daughter, Vivian, and how she then takes being a hero. And she's, I mean, she's a teenager. He, Mm -hmm. He programmed her to be like a typical teenager. And so she's also not, she's concerned with her own identity, but it's also not so much like, am I a normal person? Because she has her dad to reference and she knows they're not normal. But yeah. but surrounded by the other champions, which are the teenage heroes that most of them so defected really from she, the Avengers. If you think about it, she really takes after Wanda in that sense, who always knew she wasn't normal. She grew yeah. up with, I mean, not that she always knew Magneto was her father, but she grew up knowing that there was something different about yeah. her. And, so, she has, and she has a brother who she knows is no mm-hmm. longer around and, right. and stuff. That's and so interesting. Yeah, it's, it's interesting the with the twin that, dynamic. Yeah, the twin dynamic and the fact that she is also made from Wanda's brain scans mm-hmm. as well. Huh, that's really cool. Yeah. I really want to read this now. Please do. And then <laughs> and then it was a bit of uh, a bit of a bummer. They had planned another small mini series um, that they were going to do with Viv and Vision just as like a Are they going to call it with the visions, but they're going to call it Viv and the Vision? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Uh, but unfortunately that series did get canceled after it was solicited it was solicited and they got close to publishing four of the issues were done and and it was like a couple months before it was supposed to come out and they canceled it because of i guess narrative changes in the in the marvel universe with Mm -hmm. these two but it but it's so fascinating now to watch like vision is very acutely aware that he has a daughter he's got a rebellious teenage daughter i mean dude you programmed her that way that's your i was like you programmed her to be part wanda of course (laughs) but um but I mean, like in the Secret Empire series, he was infected with a, a AI virus, and yeah, and he his... was infected with an AI virus in 1972. Also, and he's so... got to get better uh, malware <laughs> protection. Well, um, they were, they were, it was. It turned out to be the Kree Skull War. Kree Skrull War. Sorry, oh, okay. that's really difficult to say. Kree Skrull. Kree Skrull War. <laughs> the Kree Skull. The Kree Scroll War, um, they were interview- uh, interviewing, interfering with Vision's brainwaves, oh, and it okay. manifested itself as an AI virus. Yeah, and, and Hydra hacked into him in Secret Empire, but actually his daughter was able to help him overcome that. And Aww. so it's so it's like really fascinating that she's the she's the the remainder of what his idea of a normal perfect life would mm. be. And his life is not normal and it's not perfect, but he loves his daughter and they're both kind of just trying to figure out where they belong in all of this. So and I doesn't think that kind of make them more human or as human as any one of us? Because aren't we all, we yeah. all have an idea of what something should look like. Yeah. And then we wind up with something totally different. Yeah, and a lot of times it's a lot better. Yeah. You <laughs> you want that perfect life and you think you have the idea of what that perfect life looks like. And then you get there or you don't get there or you're trying to get there. And along the way, things change and yeah. it just kind of gets weird. <laughs> Yes, that's Ugh. what all of life is. That, yes, that is what all of life is. Yeah, and so, yeah, so a lot of Vision's existence is defined by that. He's not, he is a product of Ultron, but he's also his own thing. He's evolving. His he's, own thing. His own thing. But it's like, but what, yeah, what does it mean to be human? Like, that's, that's such a, that's such a really cool 
character to put that into and and they've handled it really well with such gravitas yeah. and then of course there's always the fun comic booky yeah stuff, there's the time but... you know the vision quest where they made him almost entirely robotic and took out all of the things that made him human and eventually they had to bring it back to that there was an avengers champions crossover where they met up with the high evolutionary and the high evolutionary actually made viv fully human and she mm. didn't like it there you go i mean because being fully human is also pretty You're like, crazy uh, emotions. <laughs> but uh, um. yeah, but the latest, the latest now, which I will leave you guys on my side with this tantalizing, like, ooh, what's going to happen? Latest, the nowest, n- the of nowest the now. now. The uh, the April 2019 solicitations were the latest ones that came out, and there's an Avengers No Road Home issue <gasps> where the cover saw. is just the the side of Vision's head just being shattered open. I saw that and it broke my heart. So what's going to happen? We don't, don't know. know. But don't uh, know. if something does happen, I'm sure he'll find a way to rebuild himself cry. from it. <laughs> um, so if people are looking to pick up the nowest of the now, it sounds like they need to go to their local comic store now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> well, and pre-order Avengers No Road Home, but... Do yourself a favor. Please, please, please pick up The Vision. It's just called The Vision, Volume 1, Little Worse Than a Man, and Volume 2, Little Better Than a Beast. The, beyond a superhero comic, mm-hmm. it is almost a horror comic. It's Aww. it's a suburban horror comic, and it's so smart, and it's so cool. And yeah, it's just, it's necessary. And for the then side of things, I would recommend picking up the 1968 uh, Avengers comic that has his first appearance. Um, you can get it in trade form in the classics. Good luck finding it in the dollar bin. Yeah, though. good luck finding <laughs> it in the dollar bin. Um, I would also recommend picking up uh, now it's now that it's collected Vision and the Scarlet Witch. Or yeah, I said it backwards. It's Vision and Scarlet Witch, not the Scarlet Witch, right? I don't. Know. I anyway, don't know. <laughs> the ones from 1982, 1983. It's their only series that they did as a duo. So that is why. Uh, what I would pick up in the then section. So thank you guys so much. Wow. I know. That's just a lot. Vision's been What such does a, it mean to be human? I now I don't even know. All right. Well, we we don't have enough time to go through <laughs> all of that. So let's just wrap this up. <laughs> what makes us human? Is it our actual flesh and blood or simply brain scans and downloadable data into a synthetic body? I don't think there's any argument between us when Kitty and I say that humanity comes from love. The Vision, in any iteration, finds that in his existence. Then he had Wanda, and now he has Vivian. Thank you so much for listening to The Vision, Then and Now. Be sure to check out all of our other podcasts, our blog at GeekSideshow.com, and if you have a character you'd like to see featured on Then and Now, email us at podcasts at GeekSideshow.com. Do you enjoy listening to Then and Now? We are proud to bring you pop culture content completely ad-free, but that doesn't mean we don't need your support to help us keep going. Please take a moment to leave us a five-star review on iTunes, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting platform and help spread the word about our podcast. We welcome fan feedback. Email us at podcasts at sideshow.com with your thoughts and suggestions for how we can make our shows even better. Please tune in for our other pop culture podcasts. See if your fan favorites make the cut in the Geek Culture Countdown, a bi-weekly podcast featuring pop culture top 10 lists. Hear exclusive interviews with celebrities and pop culture industry leaders as they let their geek side show in Look Who Showed Up. Then get all the latest pop culture news with our daily briefing, a two-minute breakdown of the biggest geek headlines perfect for your Alexa or Google News briefings. We wouldn't exist without your continued support. Thank you for listening, and don't forget to let your geek side show.